inequalities, part four. In today's lesson, students will learn how to solve inequalities using distribution. Using what? Very good. Hey folks, well, there's Mr. Five again. You know, Mr. Five, he's actually a player. A player likes to get with a lot of people at the same time. In fact, Mr. Five wants to marry both Miss Negative Four and Miss B, although she's not really a B. Okay? So we call this, when there is a number outside of the parentheses, outside of the what? What are these called? Parentheses. When there is a number outside of the parentheses, you need to put your finger in the air and say this. Distribute, multiply. Let's try that one more time. Put your finger in the air and you're gonna flick to the side. You're gonna say distribute, multiply. So what is distribute? First of all, let's say it slowly. Clap it with me. Here's the word say. Distribute. Distribute means that you are going to multiply. And remember, multiply is the same thing as married. So here we have Mr. Five. If you see Mr. Five and he's outside the parentheses, he wants to get with the people that are inside the parentheses. So first, he wonders if he can get with Miss Negative Four. He says, baby, will you get with me? And Miss Negative Four says, <laughs> okay, I will. So you have to ask yourself, what is five multiplied by negative four? What's five times four? Count with me. Five, 10, 15. Right, it's gonna be 20, but as Bob's cousin likes to tell you, he says, a positive five times a negative? Oh, that's negative, bro. So that's gonna be negative 20. Now, not only does he wanna try and marry Miss Negative Four, but he also wants to marry Miss B. So you're also going to make a little line like this, and you're gonna ask yourself, what is five times B? Think about it. There is five of B or B five times. So guess what? It becomes positive five B. Very good. Okay, continue to with the inequality. This inequality right here, what does it say? Oh, make your arms in the direction of the inequality. It says greater than, it's gonna go to the right, okay? So it's greater than or equal to zero. Now, you can begin to solve your inequality. What is the first thing you're gonna do now? Okay, you're gonna circle 5B. There's no negative, so you don't have to circle it. Make a T-bone steak. Ask yourself this question. What is the opposite of negative 20? Positive 20. So then you'll add 20 to both sides. Great. Okay, a negative 20 and a positive 20. They make Zero, exactly. Bring down the 5B so that it becomes 5B is greater than or equal to 0 plus 20. <gasps> well, that's just 20. All right. So, Mr. 5 and Miss B have been married now for about, oh, 30 seconds. She says, you know what? I just can't take this anymore. I want to be alone. I want to be a single lady. So because she does not want to be with Mr. Five, because she found out that he was with Miss Negative Four, they want to get a divorce, okay? So when you divorce, you divide. You divide both sides by negative five so that Miss B can be alone. Five divided by five is one. You're left with B is greater than or equal to 20 divided by 5, okay? Remember, if 4 times 5 is 20, what do you think that 20 divided by 5 is? That's right, it's 4. 
So your inequality, read it with me, becomes b is greater than or equal to 4. Last step to this is that you have to, of course, graph it on a number line. 4 is a positive number, so it's going to be on the right. So you write a 4. Is this an open or a closed circle? Does it have a little line? Yes, so it includes 4, so it's closed. You're going to put a closed circle on 4, and you're going to go to the greater than right. Very good. So this new graph we have here says all numbers greater than 4. Let's do another example. Here we have Mr. Negative 4 who is outside the parentheses. So what do you think we need to do? Hold your finger in the air, everyone get ready. Tatiana, you're going to say distribute, multiply. We need to try that again. I already know. Okay, hold your finger in the air. You're going to say distribute, multiply. Okay, so Mr. Negative 4. Mr. Negative 4 has found his match. He wants to marry Miss Negative 4. It's a match made in heaven. So you're going to make your distribution lines, which means multiply. And here's what I want you to do from now on. Instead of doing one line at a time, you're just going to go like this. Okay? Distribute. Okay? Watch it again. You're going to say, distribute. Okay? So you're going to multiply. So negative 4 times negative 4. Okay? Well, a negative times a negative is a positive, bro. That's right. What is negative 4 times negative 4? 16. Positive 16. Great. Okay. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. What about negative 4 times positive n? Okay, there's 4 of n, but remember, it's negative 4 n. Okay, so you have to look at the signs here, okay, because there's a negative and a positive. What does a negative and a positive make? A negative times a positive is a negative, my friend. Okay, so it's going to be negative 4n. Okay? Okay, bring down the inequality. <coughs> this inequality reads, make your hands. In the, in the direction of the inequality. Come on, make your hands. Say, less than left. Remember, it goes to the left. Okay, so you're going to say, let's less than or equal to 44. Your inequality, read it with me, go, is 16 minus 4n is less than or equal to 44. Great job. Okay. So what do you see here? Could it be a negative variable? It is a negative variable. It's what we learned yesterday. It's amazing how all this connects, isn't it? Okay, so you're going to circle the negative 4n. Make your T-bone steak. I'm going to ask you, and you better get this right. Is this a positive 16 or a negative 16? It's positive! Very good. Yeah, it's positive. So what is the opposite of positive 16? Negative 16. So you're going to subtract 16 from both sides, okay? What is 16 take away 16? Zero. Okay, bring down the negative 4n. And now we're going to do a little subtraction. A lot of you have forgotten how to regroup. Forgotten how to what? Regroup. So let me show you, okay? First look at the ones place, okay? You cannot take six from four. So what you do is you borrow a one from that four next door, okay? If there's more on the floor, go next door, get 110. Can I have 110 please? Yes, thank you. I'm gonna take 110. This is gonna become 14. This will become 3. Okay. So 14 take away 6 is 8. 
And three, take away one is two, okay? The inequality is still less than or equal to. Okay, so now we can go ahead and keep... <gasps> is that a negative variable? Oh, my goodness! Jacob, you weren't here yesterday. Here's what we did. When we see a negative four, we hold up our fingers like this, and we say negative flip. Flip the sign. Divide by negative one and flip the sign. Okay, now technically, you won't have to divide by negative one. Okay? When you have a negative variable, you just divide by the negative number. Okay? So you're going to divide both sides by who do we want to get rid of? Because Miss N no longer wants to be with Mr. F negative four. Okay? So we're going to divide by what? Negative four. Good job. Negative four. Okay? Negative four divided by negative four is one. Okay? Now N is a single lady. But remember, you have to negative flip, flip the sign. Okay, you got to flip the sign. So it was less than, flip your arms around. What does it become now? What's this? Greater than, that's right. So it becomes N is greater than or equal to, we have 28 divided by negative 4. A positive divided by a negative Homie, it's negative. Okay? So, 28 divided by negative 4 is negative 7. That's right. Okay, read the inequality with me. It says N is greater than or equal to negative 7. Let's draw this really quick. You have negative 7. Will it be on the left or the right? Negative to the left. That's correct. So, what a negative 7. Is it an open circle or a closed circle? It's closed, just like the last one. Close your circle. Shade everything to the, to the, to the left. This inequality reads all numbers less than negative 7. That is how you use distribution to solve inequalities. See you tomorrow, guys.